We've always wanted to live on the water and everything that the water brings. We get the breeze, we get the boat, the scenery, nature. Um, it's what makes us happy. So we like having the yard space and we have a boat on the on our boat lift so we can go out anytime we want. Um, the access to the bay, he loves to fish. So it worked yeah. out well for us. We've been through three floods, two major floods and one minor flood um, that went into the sunroom. The other two completely came into the house. Our problem is the storm surge because um, all the water gets pushed into the bay and then up the canals and then into the neighborhoods. My wife came home from work, she's a nurse, and uh, to find the house was eight to ten inches of water through the entire house. And uh, things are floating around like toys in a pool, and uh, you quickly realize that um, you've got a lot of damage, you know, going on. And she called me and said, hey, this is, this is what we got. So she turned off the electric and uh, come pick you up and get you out of there but it was so high, his truck made it to the front of our yard, but the whole neighborhood was underwater. The problem is, is that we just finished remodeling from the first one, and we, did, we didn't have it long that way, and then, uh, Got again. and then there we go again, here we are. So pretty defeating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The waters receded, we came home to uh, try and ass assess the damage and you know see what had happened. Um, it was pretty overwhelming. We didn't know what to do really because we'd never been through it before the first time. The only thing we knew to do was call our insurance company, make a claim, and uh, we were lost for, for a minute there. Luckily we had some friends that knew what we were up against and started rallying some of our other friends. They came over and we spent the next 15 hours moving everything we have in our home outside so we can sort through it and decide what we're going to throw away what we're going to salvage and uh, we took some pretty good losses and uh, some sentimental stuff too that you know we lost. The recovery part of this is just constant fans blowing, constant construction going on, drywall, soggy drywall everywhere. <laughs> so windows, doors, cabinets, all your cabinets once they get hit with the talk so the water is considered black water it's kind of toxic because it mixes in with sewage and stuff like that so anything it touches you pretty much have to replace so you're talking about cabinets lots of furniture that took a hit um, couches and the floors the first time yeah the all the floors had to go because they weren't they were really old tile that were kind of broken and and uh, just, it was kind of an older home, so the tiles started popping up and yeah. Appliances. All the vanities. Oh, and the cabinets, all the cabinets. Once once the water touches the cabinets, uh, that water's called black water. It's toxic because it mixes with the sewage and stuff that's in the neighborhoods. So whatever that stuff touches, it's gotta go. It's gotta be replaced. Um, yeah, so what else? The closet shelving. <laughs> um, I mean, anything that's, that was on the level of the floor and you don't realize uh, how much things, furniture and everything else in your house is on the floor until you have to replace all of it. Uh, yeah, that's... All the flooring through the t entire house we had to replace as well. So big job, it's a lot. Yeah. It took a year for everything to be remodeled and finished, but we probably were out of the house yeah, about six months. About six months. You know, yeah. we stayed in some hotels, multiple hotels for a while, and then realized this is a huge, daunting project. It's going to take quite some time. So we moved in with a friend um, until, you know, the house was in a, in a state that we could move back into, right? We didn't know what to expect. We hadn't lived on the water before. We bought um, floodgates for the doors. Um, we've tried you know, blocking in our sunroom on the bottom to help and trying to dry lock the outside to help seal it so water doesn't come in through the walls. Um, so you've done so much research on it. Yeah. And you so any anything that could possibly help if we did get water in or prevent water coming in, um, you you found. But if there's nothing with the functionality um, that this has that was meant for what we're dealing with here. Yeah, peace of mind is important. Um, when you've dealt with some things like this, you want to enjoy your home. 
nobody wants to be put out and have to deal with the, you know, flood water. So it's our way to fight back, you know, against the flood waters and have some peace of mind and makes our lives easier, you know, and it, again, it, it saves, you know, economically as well, uh, where it hits you in the pocket in the past.